Hi guys, thanks for joining me here at Beauty Broadcast Express. Today's review is going to be on the Chunky Dunks from NYX. The name kind of makes me laugh every time I see these, but it seems like every brand, drugstore or high-end, is coming out with their jumbo lip pencils. It's like over the past couple of years, this has just been an ongoing thing. And so of course, I had to test these out also. I have them in the shade Pink Bikini and Berry Mojito, and that is the one that I'm wearing right now. A um, little more bright brightness to that color. This comes off like kind of a soft pink. It says hydrating lippy on these. Um, I don't really identify them as something that's giving my lips tons of hydration, but at the same time, it's also not a very drying lip product either, if that makes sense. I think part of what keeps it from feeling super hydrating to me is that it can wear off very easily after you eat or drink. And even if you're not eating or drinking, like I'll find I get maybe three hours of wear out of this before it really looks obvious that I would need to reapply And it. there are a lot of these jumbo pencils that come out and they claim to be some sort of stain. Um, I know the ones from Wet n Wild, Jordana, Revlon has the balm stains. And my complaint on some of those has been that certain shades will actually leave your lips stained a totally different shade than what you started with right off of the product. So if that's something you're wanting to steer clear of and you're just wanting something with a regular sort of lipstick type function, um, these are pretty typical, I guess I'd say. I really feel like these are um, kind of like a sheer lipstick just put into the jumbo stick format. And when you take the cap off, you can twist these up as you use them. But keep in mind, you know, the nice little pointed look that you start with will flatten out with continued use. So you won't always have the precision that you started with. Pink Bikini is a soft pink color. I feel like it comes off with a decent amount of shine, as does this other one that I'm wearing. But the color is pretty sheer. You can build it up some more from where you start, but it's not a really like full color lip product. I'm not really saying that's a bad thing because some people are just more comfortable with sheer colors on their lips. But it's like the most full opaque color possible is what you want. Um, that shade might be a little disappointing to you. And then this one, I do really like the color of this Berry Mojito shade, but I do feel like I built the color up somewhat to get to what you're seeing right now. Just a little more sheer than, you know, a typical lipstick. As far as the feel on my lips, they kind of remind me of NYX's Butter Lipsticks. Like I said, just kind of in a different format. These also remind me a lot of the texture and the color intensity of the Maybelline Color Whispers. Some shades more sheer, some more intense, but a very like lightweight feeling on your lips. Another really comparable product would be the CoverGirl Lip Perfection. Um, these jumbo sticks, again with the twist up design there, they seem to have a really similar intensity of color and same kind of lightweight feeling. I would say the jumbo lip pencil that's the most hydrating and the most like anti-chapped lip hangs on there onto your lips, has good staying power, good color. Just can't say anything bad about them is the Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Sticks. I've loved these. These really hang around a long time on my lips and therefore I feel like my lips are staying more hydrated. Um, there's just a little more thickness in the formula compared to anything I've mentioned previously and I just think it serves this product very well. I hope these never go away. I think those of us who love experimenting with new drugstore products may feel compelled to try a couple of these out, but what I kind of want you to come away knowing from this is that they don't seem like anything like super innovative and different compared to a lot of other things on the market. If you've already got a lot of color whispers and these CoverGirl Lip Perfection and stuff like that, I don't think you're going to find that these are a drastically different texture at all. You may become attached to one of these colors and that drives you to pick one up and they're not at all uncomfortable on the lips either. Very lightweight feel, but you're not going to have the same um, staying power that I mentioned with like the Neutrogena or any of those that claim to actually stain your lips. So these aren't something I really plan to go out and stock up on, so to speak, but I just wanted to give you my take on the Chunky Dunk lip pencils. Kind of a middle of the road lip product, at least in my opinion. So thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.